looking at some plants for the pie, the koi pie, y'all. Make sure you come through Koi Enterprise, which is in West Sacramento. Get you some pie plants. They just starting to get them. Won't regret. Bring your kid. Thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel, my name is Stuber. So you just seen a thinking of this video that we were over at Koi Enterprise. And like I said, if y'all anywhere near Koi Enterprise, West Sacramento, go take a look. Go see what they got. They got a plenty of koi. They got a ton of plants. And uh, not only that, they will help you build your pond and maintenance your pond. So clearly they got something for you. Now we are in front of our green lagoon. Now it's not really a green lagoon, but that's what it's looking like right now. Um, this thing has turned green on us again. So we are going to add some plants to help us battle that green. Water. So now what will plants do? It's going to hopefully outcompete the algae for nutrients and will eliminate some of this green water. Now we might hook up a UV clarifier, UV sterilizer at some point. But for now, we're going to go with these plants. Also, there's nothing wrong with supporting one of your, you know, um, mom and pop shops. Even though they're pretty big, still consider them mom and pops. So um, we bought a lot of different plants. We bought actually a total of seven plants. We also bought some mosquito fish. Now, we need to figure out the placements for these plants. Now, one thing I really did appreciate about the, the folks at Core Enterprise is that they had no problem with over explaining everything to me so I understand the placement of these plants a little bit better. Some of them can be fully submerged, and then some of them are more along the, the rock shell so they're not completely submerged in that water. Otherwise, you'll end up killing the plant. So, and they call them floaters. So we have a box of floaters. We got some fully submersible plants right here. Looks like a lily, but it's not. Already has a nice little flower on it. So these could be a bit deeper. Now, where am I gonna put them? Still haven't figured that out. We got two of these. I knew Ida would love to have some plants that will flower. Eventually, we will get some lilies or even a lotus, but for now, we have those. Like I said, I might put them in the center next to, that might be a little too deep, but I might go ahead and still put them right there. Um, that's the most shallow part of everything aside from the shells. And these shells are going to be utilized by all five of these plants. Now she has no idea what we got. So everyone is in for a treat. This one right here is known as an umbrella plant. It is actually the Cypyrus, Cypyrus, Alternifolius, Gracious, <laughs> Gracious. Somebody else probably know how to pronounce that better than me. Nonetheless, we're gonna find a spot for this one. This one is one of the ones I'm excited about. She did tell me that this one is pretty invasive, meaning that it can puncture palm liner. So we wanna make sure that we're careful with this one. If I have a pot, I will put it in the pot as long as it don't have holes so the roots don't go out because she did have one that did put a hole in the liner. Now, I also have these cutters. These are not invasive and they will not puncture the liner. Now, these could be cutters. Are you alright? Now, these can be removed from the pot if I chose to do so. And the thing about these, they spread. So um, that's pretty exciting. Now, I'll put them all out and maybe Aida will chime in and tell me where she wants to see some of these. Here's another one. This is also That a one's spreader. pretty. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty sick, right? All of these. So we wanted to get some to go on these shelves. This one has a nice red tone to it as well. And then lastly, we have this one right here, which is almost like that one, but just a different color. Oh, this is the one that I saw. This is the one that I really like. I saw this one online. Okay, okay. 
So I have some ideas of where I want to put some of these, but for the most part, I'm really not quite sure. So right now will be the time for I either say, hey, you can put this over here, put this over there. What you thinking, babe? Let's see. I know I want to sit one probably right here. Can one sit on in the side. middle of that? Or is that? In the middle of the pot? No, in the middle of the, the wood. Would that look weird? Uh, would it look weird? I don't know if it would look weird. Could it sit there? Probably could. Because I feel like we could enjoy it from the window, too. The one that I would probably put there, then, would maybe be... The tall one, one. yeah. Probably be the tall one. That way, um, actually, probably, like, right there. Yeah. In the oh, yeah. Let that hold it from it falling down. That's perfect. All right, look at that. But that's what I'm talking about. Teamwork makes a dream what? Work. There we go. All right, so... No. That one, they, they produce flowers. Huh? Those produce flowers. No, none, of these, none of these produce flowers. I didn't get the one that produced flowers. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't get it. Oh. Yeah, man. Because in the cold season, it dies back. Okay. These don't die back. Okay. Yeah. Then I was wrong about what I thought they were. No, they look exactly, it's exactly the same. It's just one literally will produce flowers and one don't. Okay. Okay, that's probably too deep. So that's what I'm saying. So can't have them too submerged in the water. You don't think that's too submerged in the water? Not at all. I, I have no she is, She literally explained it to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see, that's too deep. That one is not that deep. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. And I would remove it from back up, the back pots, up. and maybe at some point I will. But for now, we're rocking and rolling with just these other flower pots. I want to see how well they do. Let's see if they work. Placement is always everything. I hope that music is not gonna Carter. mess up your monetization. Come on, Carter, you gotta, you gotta cut that off. Wait, no. No, you can't go down the slide. I would. Are you okay? Oh, that's pretty too. You want to turn it off? Oh, that's very pretty. Look at all the fishies. Now, 
got these to worry about. Alright. Please be careful. All that dirt. Can't do nothing about that right now. Those are pretty. You like those? Mm hmm. I figured you would. All right. Yeah, all the ones that you selected are nice. It really does look like a green lagoon. Huh? Really looks like a green lagoon. I know. So here are the mosquito fish that we picked up. That will eat the mosquitoes? That's going to help with all the bugs. They had absolutely no insects at all flying around their pot. Because these guys was on the job. So we even got a couple tadpoles in here too. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, but they're not bullfrogs. Bullfrogs will eat the um, eat fish. Yeah. Let's go ahead and look, their water is looking almost the same color as ours. Any help? I think I can get it big, I think I can manage. Alright. Look at how chunky those are. Oh, shoot. <laughs> They're definitely Munch. chunky. <laughs> oh. Chunky monkeys. Bye. Oh, yeah. They even have some minnows that they're raising over there. Or mosquito fish, should I say. Which I can't remember what she called them. But they were like, they were white. They oh, had, that's had, cool. It's like her breeding project. Oh, nice. Yeah. Monkey. Monkey. Oh, that one was hella big. Mm -hmm. We probably got some pregnant ones in here, which is good. Maybe we'll breed like crazy. So, yeah, more and more is turning into a full on ecosystem. And that's really the goal. So, instead of dumping a bunch of chemicals in here trying to get the water to change, I really go the natural route. And speaking with Anthony, he was saying, here's the tadpoles. He was saying, the tadpoles right there. How cute. He was saying that uh, the rain could make the pond acidic. Oh. So, um, the rain water, check it, it's acidic. So 
or when you mentioned the the, um, the the neutral balance uh, or the pH of the pond, it could uh, cause the water to be more acidic, which in turn will make the water be more green. So he said do an alkalinity test on it. And that's how I know for certain what's going on. But that's what he suspects. Also, you know, the UV, the UV sterilizer goes a long way to help it keep the water you know, looking crystal clear. Overall, it looks so good. The plants really add that beautiful natural touch. Yeah, the white flowers from the already. jasmine. Yeah, already. Yeah, already just dropping into the pond. Right? We haven't had any flowers in here. Even this one that just dropped in. This is the big one too. So what you think, bud? I love it. I love the new additions. And I can't wait for it to get to work. Right, and not just that now we have that growing element right. of the pond. You know, when you don't have live plants, you know, your pond typically won't be what it is. When you start adding live plants, it's going to like its own, it's going to be ecosystem, things like that. So, really happy about that. Now I'll go ahead and cover back up. I'll make sure the high spots are right here by these two plants. Well, really, this plant is the only one that's going to grow tall. Video. You know what to do. Like the damn video. Peace.